Hey guys, it's Lauren. It is um, February 11th, 2012. Um, I wanted to do a video blog. Um, a couple of things. I think I want to actually create a different channel um, on YouTube. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of like bleh with this one. Uh, it's just, I mean, I'm still going to use this one. Um, probably more for my, uh, my weight loss, like, groups and, like, community. Um, <clears throat> but I think the other one is going to be more, I don't know, a little bit of everything kind of thing. Um, so I want to keep this one strictly, like, weight loss and weigh-ins and stuff like that. Uh, <clears throat> the other one will be mixed with that, but might also have, like, me exercising, me um, doing food hauls, and maybe even some fashion hauls, and different things. I don't know yet. Um, <clears throat> I haven't created it yet, but once I do, I will definitely let anybody know who wants to know. <clears throat> I haven't done a video in a while since, like, January. Um, life has just been... Hold on, sorry. Life has just been really... I don't know. It's been very rough lately. I mean, um, if you know me, you know that my mom passed away in November. And um, most recently, my grandmother just passed away in January. Um, those, I would say, were the two family members that I was closest with. And to lose them is like... I don't know. It's, it's devastating. I, I can't even go on and describe it. Um, things have not been good for me. I mean, I, I'm still jobless. I'm still, <clears throat> you know, this house is for sale. It's not getting any bites right now. And I need to get out of here because I can't afford to live here. So things are just, you know, not doing so good. Um, so I apologize for not being on here. Um... My weight loss has been fluctuating. I've been up, I've been down, I've been back, whatever. Um, so really, I'm going to start tomorrow. I mean, not like I'm going to start my diet tomorrow. But I mean, I'm going to start my weigh-ins again tomorrow. Because I like weighing in on Sundays. Um, some things that I am changing is that I'm trying to eat meat less. More vegetables, more fruit. I was on a medication for my diabetes called um, Victoza. <clears throat> I think it's also one of the brands that uh, Paula Dean is like pushing. Um, but I was I really liked it for a while. It was kicking my hunger. It was made, it made me nauseous a lot of times, so I wouldn't eat. Um, and it had, it had made me, help me lose weight. Um, but then I started getting really sick from it. My stomach was just, the problem is it like slows down your stomach and it just absolutely did something to my stomach. Um, to the point where I was sick almost every day and I had to make the decision to stop it on my own because I once went to my doctor and told him there was like what was going on and he's like oh you're fine just drop down uh another unit like I was at like uh I think it was like 1.8 and then you could either do 0.6 1.2 or 1.8 so I was taking the max which was 1.8 and he told me, I'll oh, just drop down to 1.6. So I was like, okay, I'll try that. And then for the first couple of days, I was fine. But then I got really sick again. So I am i don't want to mess up my body. I don't want to do things. It's one thing if it was like, you know, I don't want to get like gross and everything. It would be one thing if it was like a normal symptom. But it was just like back and forth. I was bloated all the time. I was, it was just a terrible feeling where I just didn't want to leave the house. It was just awful. Now, I don't like metformin um, because it also has side effects on your stomach. But at the time, I got to switch back to that right until I see him again, which is at the end of this month because 
I don't like I don't like him because he just kept telling me, oh, it's normal, it's fine. It's not normal. It's not normal. I asked my other primary care. They just want to push this fucking medication. Excuse my language. You know, and and not give a shit about what it's doing to your health. Sorry again for my language. I just can't. I'm not going to do that to my body. It's just, it's not working. It's not worth it, and I don't want to mess anything up, you know, more than it's already messed up. So that's an update for that. So I'm going to be starting today on um, metformin again. Uh, <clears throat> that's for diabetes. <coughs> Excuse me. Another thing is a couple, like maybe a month ago, I went to the doctor um, and they did an EM, EKG, AMG. Oh God, one of those. It's <laughs> EKG, I think is for your heart. EMG, I think it is. It's where they test your nerves. And I knew I had nerve damage and it's, it's pretty apparent, um, in my feet and slightly in my hands. <clears throat> so I really need to turn this diabetes around and start losing this weight because I'm only 25 and I'm getting all these things. This usually happens to like 40 year olds, 50 year olds. So what is my life going to be like when I reach that age? I don't want to know. So I need to change it around. Um, so that's an update on that. That's pretty much all that's been going on. I'm going to do a video tomorrow with my weigh-in. Um, but I just wanted to get out some things ram ramble on tell you where I've been what's been going on um I'm still on Shakeology oh my god Tropical comes out next Tuesday Valentine's Day super 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 excited about that because it's vegan and I'm slightly lactose intolerant so I'm really excited because then I don't have to worry at all because I always drink my shakes with almond milk anyway um so I'll be really excited about that because I'm also trying to cut uh, meat out, like I said, and I'm also trying to cut out like byproducts, like m like milk, which I've cut out, um, eggs. I don't really eat very often, but um, I'm really trying to go vegetarian, and then maybe one day I'll go vegan. I doubt it, but it's very hard. But you know what? So is giving up soda and you know aspartame ridden drinks. I used to drink diet soda on the regular. I would drink that like it was water. Same thing with like using Equal or Splenda. All the time I would use it. All the time because being a diabetic you have no other choice. You can't drink the regular stuff because then your sugar is going to go. Phew. So what I'm doing now is I, I switched to, well, to get off soda I switched to seltzer which is plain, nothing in it. Um, but then, you know, lately I don't like seltzer as much anymore. So I started drinking less seltzer and more water. So I pretty much primarily only drink water. One time, a couple times I'll have some tea, but if I have sugar in my tea, it's like a little bit and it's only like sugar in the raw or something like that. I really am trying to eat more natural. I'm sorry. And clean. So, um, yeah. Yeah. That's pretty much it. I'm still eating meat. I I won't really eat too much red meat. Um, like last night I went to a burger place and I got a turkey burger with avocado and tomato and it was delicious. So I try to do things like that. And I try to drink a ton of water. Um, and that's pretty much it. I got to keep continuing that. I got to get my exercise in. I have my Turbo Fire DVD. I have a gym membership. I need to get moving. I need to get moving. I need some motivation from you guys. I, you know, oh my goodness. Um, from my weight loss community support for weight loss, um, Lacey just did a, v a video. And let me tell you, she is amazing. Because, you know, we always look up to her. Um, we've always have because in the past, um, she lost so much weight and then she got pregnant. Um, and then um, she's been you know, trying to lose weight now. And, um, you know, she admitted that she's struggling and, and to, to say that and to come out there and just, you know, bear it all and to say, you know, I'm struggling. It's not as easy as, you know, as this, you know, might've been, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but, um, so inspiring. Like she, you know, 
she really is a rock star. And rock stars have their, you know, days where they don't do as well, you know. She's human, and um, we always accept that. And we love her. I love you, Lacey. Um, and you really are truly inspiring. I, you know, Kristen wrote something and that she was totally inspired, and you really honestly inspired me. So this is why I'm making this video as well, to, to say that I need to get back on track and I need to be held accountable. Um, because you know what? Life is just, it's so short, I'm learning. That's first off. And second of all, you know, there's so many things that I cannot control in my life. I can't control that my mother died. I can't control that my grandmother passed away. I can't control any of that. The only thing I can control is me and what I do and my choices. So for food and for, you know, exercise, I control that. Nobody's saying, here, Lauren, eat this, you know, thing. You have to do it. You can't not. Nobody's shoving it down my throat. I'm shoving it down my throat. So, and no one's tell stopping me from working out. They're not being like, Lauren, you don't need to work out. You know, who says that? Nobody. <laughs> So, I mean, I need to be accountable for me. I need to step it up and I need to take charge. So, thank you, Lacey, because you definitely have inspired me. And so has everybody on our weight loss community, Support for Weight Loss. I love you guys. Um, and there's tons of other people on here on YouTube. I don't know if anyone watches my videos, but um, I know some people do. So, uh, you know, I really do appreciate you guys following me forever and ever and ever. Um, so continue to leave comments and, and everything. And uh, like I said, if I do create a new channel, I will let you know. But I, I just want to do something different instead of just sitting in front of the computer screen. <laughs> um, you know, maybe, you know, like I said, show you guys some turbo fire or me making my shakes or taking on a grocery haul like what I what I buy because you know what doing a grocery haul, haul would keep me accountable and be like you don't see that chocolate over there and then I feel really stupid so you know I have to make sure that you know I do well and you know I want I just want everybody to to motivate me and let me motivate you and one cycle one you know circle whatever. All right. I'm done blabbing because it's a uh, 12 minutes and 40 seconds video. So, all right. If you watch this to the entirety, I love you and thank you. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow when I do my weigh-in. Bye.